Greetings from the Upper West Side of I Love New York in October 29th. Look right alongside of Central Park. And it is almost Halloween. That means the Halloween decorations are getting better less than a week away. And here is a well done Halloween home on West 83rd Street. And I actually missed a few of the elements the first time I walked by. Of course, this one really caught my eye with the zombies climbing the building. But if you look up, you could see some of the zombies have made it up into the second floor, which either while well, this family owns the entire building, Brownstone, or the residents all really get along because uh, you see some continuity on the different floors here. And back to the ground floor. I think that term is referred to as cheesecloth and they have mixed uh, black and white cheesecloth. I saw one of the restaurants down the road it has a uh, ghost cheesecloths and it's right over the sign bar and grill. So you can have grilled ghosts. The joy of Halloween in I Love New York. Just a quick glimpse from 83rd Street. Now, autumn decorations are just as beautiful. There is the chrysanthemum on the front porch. Now, as we head towards Central Park, I want to remind you that there is a Central Park pumpkin flotilla. That is another signature event for New York, as well as a Halloween parade right before the pumpkin flotilla, which will be returning next year. Some more Halloween decorations on 83rd Street. And it looks like they've got uh, the purple lights, skeleton and owl. Now I'm looking up for more zombies, more zombies climbing the building. Really well done. Uh, I have seen a lot of pumpkins. Ah, it's a good block for decorations. Thank you, 83rd Street. It's like the Diker Heights of Halloween. Here we have, what I really like about this individual, um, aside from the creepiness, is it looks very easy and compact to put it away at the end of the season if they indeed don't leave it up all year within their home. Talking about this fellow right here at the lamppost, all that really is the head, and then you roll up the fabric. Keep in mind, New Yorkers do not generally have a lot of storage space, whereas the skeletons, you can see they're gonna take up a lot of room after Halloween. Some window decorations and some pumpkins not yet carved. But we are not done. I told you, 83rd Street really delivers with the Halloween decorations. Halloween originally coming to us from the country of Ireland. It was an extension of the Samhain Festival, the end of the harvest season. Keep in mind, it is also Dia de los Muertos, All Souls Day, All Saints Day, Autumn, Maybon. And the big gist that connects all of these holidays that happen around October is that the veil is thin between the living world and the non-living world. So when you hear people say that Halloween is not Dia de los Muertos and Samhain is not All Saints Day, there is a connecting thread at the end of the harvest season when the veil is thin between the living world and the non-living world. And also our crops are dying. And then we have the bountiful food which leads us into Thanksgiving. A lot of connections there. We'll cross the street. Why? Because it's Central Park. Who doesn't like visiting Central Park in autumn? Can't see it now, but you would want to come the first weekend of November. The weekend that the New York City Marathon takes place is that is the weekend for the best autumn foliage and I love New York. And I think that's part of the reason why they choose the first weekend of November for the annual Central Park. Actually, it runs through all the boroughs, the New York Marathon. And that is some Halloween, some Samhain, some Maybon, some Dia de los Muertos, and Autumn, and ever beautiful. I love New York. Till next time.